Well, a digital art piece has recently made headlines for fetching close to 100 million Singapore dollars. Now, have a look at the record smashing piece, a virtual mosaic by artist Beeple. It was sold for $93 million to entrepreneur Vignesh Sundaresan, who goes by the moniker Metakova and his alter ego in the virtual world. He bought it with cryptocurrency. Similarly, the artwork only exists digitally, not a physical, tangible piece. The image file is linked to a non-fungible token or NFT. What is an NFT, if you're wondering? Well, it's a digital object that can be a drawing, animation, piece of music, photo or video with a certificate of authenticity created by blockchain which can't be compromised. The certificate is needed if the NFT is exchanged or sold. Now, the NFT doesn't exist in physical form, which is a big difference from the paintings, sculptures or even bottles of wine or sneakers amassed by most collectors. So, examples of NFTs include the Nyan Cat, the gif of a rainbow casting feline that became a viral meme back in 2011. Fast forward to last month, the original gif was sold at an online auction for 300 Ether, a cryptocurrency that was equivalent to nearly 600,000 US dollars at the time. And just yesterday, Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey sold his first tweet from March the 21st, 2006 as an NFT for just over 2.9 million US dollars. Let's welcome Vignesh Sundaresan or as his better known, Meta Coven. Hi Vignesh. Now Vignesh, as you know, NFTs are intangible and don't exist in the physical world. But you spent a record $93 million on this famous NFT artwork, a piece of virtual mosaic. Uh, why did you decide to buy it? Hmm. Um, I believe it's valuable and uh, I understand that it might take some time for the world to also understand its value. But that's okay for me because not not everything is priced at the right, you know, right way uh, at the beginning of a new movement. So I believe that there's a new NFT movement that's going on, uh, a cultural movement, if I can call it, where uh, we are having artists and, and collectors directly meet on the internet. And I think this piece becomes the beacon for all of this. And uh, people being one of the most prolific artists in our, of our generation, I believe he's the artist of our generation and his work itself is an inspiration. He has done this piece over 5,000 days every day. So when he got married, when he had a kid, right? Like every day. And the message is simple. If you work hard, if you work honest um, over 5,000 days, you would be successful, right? Like, so I, 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 I also uh, vibe with that message. And I think it will be an inspiration to a lot of people around the world. But more than that, I think this specific NFT gives a huge um, amount of attention to what's going on uh, in, 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 in the metaverse and, and in the crypto space. Right. Well, perhaps you have answered this question already in terms of, you know, the, the passion and the love that you have for this form of art. But um, Vignesh, is, it, is NFT, you know, worth the value since, you know, all it takes is an internet connection to sort of, for lack of a better word, own it? Mm. I don't think, yeah, like, I don't think we should use the word own it where, you know, you can obviously download the picture of, of anything on the internet, even a Mona Lisa, right? So if I just download the picture of Mona Lisa, does not mean I own it, right? And uh, in, in the same way, uh, the, the NFT itself is the prominence uh, to owning something digitally. So it's very interesting because it's for the first time, digital art can be owned with prominence so I have this NFT was signed by the artist uh, and, and it, it came like it was transferred to me after the sale. So all of this has been recorded on the blockchain. So that is provenance. And, and most of the time, the, the, the traditional art world spends its, its time and money just figuring out the provenance of the traditional art. So this makes it easier. So if you ask me, it is even better than owning a traditional piece of art. Well said. Well, uh, Vignesh, I have a bit of a personal question to ask. Now, you under your mm -hmm. Metacoven pseudonym caused quite the stir when, of course, news of your purchase went viral online. Now, before this, you've used this moniker to remain anonymous and only up till recently revealed your true identity. Why did you decide to come out now? Mm. I've operated 
uh, as metacoven for a while now um, mm-hmm. more than a year and i think metacoven itself like it's very common to have a pseudonym in the gaming world and and even on twitter or instagram right like, today pseudonyms are were very common most of, most of us get started as a pseudonym um, but in the gaming world it also removes all the judgment that people carry about each other so i i i really enjoyed being the pseudonym and even into the future i think metacoven has this beautiful history now uh, i've been operating what what i cannot promise you is that i will be operating uh, metacoven forever right like it could be other people more than one also so i want to leave that mystery there but the reason i came out and uh, and and of the pseudonym and, and identified myself was that i thought this i didn't think this will blow up this this big uh, this big uh, we thought it will be one of one of the things we have been doing for a while now right but when it blew up it it got unnecessary attention i think the pseudonym because i didn't want this to be the topic of conversation we wanted the piece to be the topic of conversation the nft itself so i thought okay let, let, let's let's just get that out and also i think the story uh, behind the collector which is which is me in this case is also very important to this piece and um, my like if my story can help you know like um, um, make a crypto more legitimate all, all all over the world that'll be awesome for me so i think for that i would i'd be okay to reveal myself but vignes do you think your life would be a little bit more complicated now that you know there is a face yeah. to meta coven <laughs> uh it's been quite like i i've not i'm not used to uh, yeah i'm not used to this uh, i'm 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 finding finding it quite interesting i uh, had people like walk up to me to, today in the morning and be like are you are you this guy in the and the newspaper right and i'm like yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's been different but i think i'm okay because it's not like i'm a i'm a cine actor or something right like after the i believe that after this new cycle i'll go back to being meta coven and and no one will remember vignesh all right now vignesh you know just to round out our, our discussion uh, for today now amid the craze uh, for nfts uh, which have been appreciating uh, greatly now some critics are saying this could be another digital bubble waiting to burst what's your take on this um i would say bubbles are better um identified in hindsight so i'm not very good at you know like predicting if this is a bubble or not but you know we we should when life gives us a lemon a lemon we should make lemonade right so uh, if you if you feel it's a bubble uh, maybe it's it's not it's not the best time to be a collector but think about it for an artist so if you are an artist out there this nft is for you right like this bubble is for you if if everyone is paying uh, a lot of money for for your nfts your digital uh, creation then why not an artist use this situation right like and 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 sell some of their creations online so i think there is always two sides to the bubble um, and 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 people can use it their own way uh, i live inside this bubble so i go up with it i go down with it i don't mind but people who are investing might should be always should be careful not not just about nfts but about crypto and any other asset in general right so that's that's very different but artists should use this situation and and understand that this shift is 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 for them and and we are calling them to do more 